Two Winnipeg brothers still can't believe their luck. These aspiring rappers get to rub shoulders with some of the most established musicians in the country. It all happens tomorrow as part of the city's Olympic torch relay celebration. This Meet Mike and Mitch football. Francisco. They're a rap duo that call themselves Bracada. Last month, the city signed them up to perform when the Olympic flame makes its stop in Winnipeg. The brothers will share the stage with Tracy Bone, Sheik Amin, and Doc Walker all because they were spotted on the internet. Who does that? How does, how does stuff like that just happen? Um, some person happens to be viewing uh, a video of ours on Facebook, and it happens to be someone who could possibly be, be associated with uh, the Olympics, and then all of a sudden want to put us on stage. Way to go, guys. The performances start at 5 o'clock tomorrow at the Forks. Everyone is welcome to cheer on the torch. When the Olympic torch reaches center stage at the Forks tomorrow night, it will arrive, thanks in part, to a very special young man. As Mitch Peacock shows us, that young person is a torchbearer with a message. This was the scene back in November. Mayor Sam Cates announcing Noah Polanski as Winnipeg's official Olympic torchbearer. A big deal then and bigger now with the Olympic celebration of the Forks coming tomorrow night. It's news that has his school buzzing. I think everyone's very happy for him, and if you've seen, there's a sign out there congratulating him, so I think the school's proud for him. Oh, they're proud, all right, and with good reason. That's because Noah is more than a torchbearer. He's a fundraiser, raising more than $60,000 for Cancer Care Manitoba since learning of his mom's cancer diagnosis. In fact, the whole Olympic opportunity is just a bonus to a young person who never imagined he'd be in this position. I wasn't doing it for rewards, so to be honest, I not even in my wildest dreams did I think that I'd raise that much or it would lead to things like this. And Noah's experience is not only enriching his life, but sending a positive message to his fellow students who learn about improving their community in class. That's what it's all about, you know, taking sort of a classroom lesson and uh, he's taking much more than that and actually put into action and improving our community, improving our world, and that's what he's done at a very young age. It's very impressive. And the giving just continues for Noah, who has this advice for other young people, wondering what they can do to make their community a better place. Uh, that kids can make a difference and to never give up. Just because you're young, you just have to put in a bit of extra effort and you can accomplish anything. Mitch Peacock, CBC News, Winnipeg. Two Winnipeg performers are about to put on the biggest show of their lives so far. A local rap duel will join some of Canada's best-known musicians on stage tomorrow at a celebration marking the arrival of the Olympic torch in Winnipeg. As Randall Mauricio reports, they were discovered online. Butterfly kisses to you. Mike and Mitch Francisco dream of being big-time hip-hop artists here in their amateur recording studio one that had a modest start two years ago. Show me this booth because you guys actually built this by hand. Man, 70 bucks. <laughs> but that modest investment is paying off. The two brothers who call themselves Bracada have been called on by the city to perform when the 2010 Olympic flame lights the streets of Winnipeg. The athletes train for the Olympics knowing that when, the, when 2010 rolls around, they're ready to go. Us, we had no idea we were going to be involved with the Olympics. Even better, they'll rub shoulders with some of the most established artists around, like Tracy Bone, Sheik Amin, and Doc Walker. They have the web to thank for all this. Ricotta's promotional page and videos on Facebook caught the eye of Winnipeg's special events committee. They have a lot of energy, so to see them on stage, I think will be very dynamic. Uh, representing not only the hip-hop community, but the Filipino community, uh, the diversity that we have in Winnipeg. And because Winnipeg's Filipino community is looking to them, the pressure's on. To be part of, uh, you know, a bigger movement to, to show uh, that Filipinos can do something and they have a voice. But Bracada has a warning for the other performers tomorrow. Uh, that night, those guys better step their game up, man. Because <laughs> when we get on stage, we're going to smash it. <laughs> no, you know, just, just try to be overconfident to cover my uh, lack of confidence. I, I, you know, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm nervous. I got to say, I'm nervous. The performances will be held here at the Forks starting at 5 tomorrow.
Randall Mauricio, CBC News, Winnipeg.